what's going on, gang? It's your boy, Demonte the Truck, and we back. I know I've been gone for a minute, but your boy been busy. Got some new things going, new big things going. We not at Montgomery Transport. We not at Montgomery Transport anymore. Transport, remember that. <laughs> I'm giving y'all a hint, but I ain't gonna break the news yet. But we not at Montgomery Transport anymore. It's not that things didn't work out. I was making good, doing good, just advanced to a better opportunity that presented itself. So yeah, we currently in Houston. We left it. We left this morning probably about I say noon. We left today probably about noon, and it's currently six o'clock. We're currently in Houston at the place we deliver to in the morning. So we the first ones here, and I get back with you. So yeah, we first ones here. We right at the gate. So. We're going to be the first ones here in the morning, obviously. <laughs> but right now, they're loading up their uh, company truck for tomorrow, I'm guessing. Unless they got to go a good distance today. But I'm guessing tomorrow morning, they going to head out because it's a day cab. It's not a sleeper. But that's me just guessing. Or they might just move it. Move some in the yard. I was going to go on the other side, but it, uh, it say no trucks on that side. And it say... Shipping and receiving right here, so I'm guessing it's the entrance. If not, we're gonna make it the entrance. <laughs> we're about to get out. I'm bungee. I'm bungee. I want to untarp it, but I gotta look at the weather. It's kind of cloudy. I'm gonna look at the weather first. But we are going bungee right now. I'm about to show y'all the load. We got steel plates weighing in at uh, the total gross weight. I'm weighing in at 77,000 and some pounds. So, so yeah. The load roughly 44, 45 thousand pounds. So let's see it. Ain't good. We can't go down too far. We'll show y'all the name. We don't want to show y'all the name. <laughs> there we go. We got the y'all see the X chains in there. There we go. Now we gonna unbunge it. And I'm gonna look at the weather and see if we gonna top it. Well, it's looking like the weather's clear, so we gonna we gonna see. Let's see. No, we just gonna unbunge it and we gonna wake up uh probably six in the morning. They're opening at seven, so we're gonna wake up at six, untarp it, unstrap it, put everything up and just pull in. Y'all know it's still plates. It ain't it ain't gonna go nowhere if you unstrap it. That's you at the plate, so they have you once you get loaded they have you pull forward to strap and stuff anyway, y'all saw that right. Something flew in my eye. I don't know what it was. I'm gonna get it whatever it is. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's your boy Demonte the Trucker and we Checking in, letting y'all know we still good, healthy. Everything's still going good. If you're, I'm gonna show y'all the unbunching process. Probably not though, cause that a percent too much. Probably so, probably not. We gonna see. We currently in the back. About to lay down, watch a movie, read a book. I don't know which one we gonna do yet, but all the Uber Eats, Uber Eats on the way. So we got something to eat. I wasn't too worried about getting something to eat, but I just wanted to see if Uber Eats, Uber Eats was in the area, which it was. So we got some wings from Wings and More somewhere out here in Houston coming. So that's what we're going to eat tonight. And I'll get back with y'all in the morning once we get unloaded and I'm on top of What's good? <laughs> so we were parked in front. Ooh, we got woke up, but it's all cool. It's not too early. We got woke up to pull in the yard because they had to, you know, that's the only gate they used to pull out, which I didn't know. But uh, we ain't get on the clock. We pulled through under five miles per hour, got in, got situated, came back, told me, I'm good. I could crash if I want to. Just chill. They don't start unloading to seven. So that's what it is. I'll get back to you. What's well, good, gang? I know y'all probably can't see me, but your boy about to get busy. About to un undo the tarp, the bungees and everything. I was gonna do the bungees uh, last night, but the wind was blowing and I didn't want to undo half of them and come back in the morning and do the rest. It don't make sense to me. Might as well do it all while, while you can. So I was just throwing stuff in the dumpster right here. But yeah, we are... Uh, about to get to it. About to get everything done. I don't know if y'all can see me clear because it's still 
dark outside. Daylight saving times was yesterday, so still dark outside. But your boy about to get busy. I'm gonna set up the GoPro and let y'all see. I'm gonna try to put the trailer lights on so y'all can see uh, more clearly. I don't know how much clearer it's gonna be, but y'all hang in there. I know y'all can't see much at all, but we're gonna just cut it up right there and uh, I'm gonna finish the rest and I'll get back to y'all when it's daylight and we pulling in. Uh, we all getting unloaded. Zoom that in. You can barely see it, it's a little plate. But they unloaded us, we can't get out of the truck, so can't get too much footage, but we are currently getting unloaded. 
you can see in the, the mirror we got about two more rows and we'll be done. We're good to go. He said they get me in right when they open at 8 o'clock. He got me right in. And we're getting unloaded. We just started our clock because when you're getting unloaded, the load, you got to be on duty. If, you, if you're doing any work, you got to be on duty. So, there we go. Getting unloaded in Houston, baby. What's going on, y'all? It's the, well, the second day of the vlog. We're going to end it, end the video here, and we're going to start up a new video tomorrow. But yeah, we are currently in uh, Baton Rouge. We picked up in Houston. Like I said, I dropped off in Houston, picked up in Houston. So we didn't really have to dead too much. So that was a big profit and a few gonna pay. So we doing doing pretty good starting out. But the tarps guy, the tarps gave me a big old headache, man. It was flopping, but I figured out the way to do it. I got the, uh, y'all can see over with steel, steel plates. But as y'all can see up top, I put dunnage, strapped it down up here, and I did the same thing in the back to keep it from flopping. Yep, and that's how, man, it was giving me a headache, bro. But that's how we got it to stay down. Of course, we got the bulkhead, so we ain't put the X chains on. Bulkhead was pretty easy, easy to do. It's easy, quick to do. So yeah, we currently in Baton Rouge. First one's here at the gate. We can't, uh, I was pulled in, but they don't want us to pull in. So we at the place. We got early in the morning, the first one here. So we're gonna get unloaded early again. We're gonna get unloaded early again. Hopefully go pick up, but the day head probably gonna be more than, I say the day head probably gonna be, might not be no more than 100 miles, hopefully. But we'll see what we get tomorrow and we'll check back with y'all. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Demonte the Trucker. Thank y'all for watching.